testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're here. It's finally happening. The new BSD revolution, free coaster. Let's check this thing out. Unboxing this. I wish I got that thing like like uh, LeBron has the. the Enough playing. Let's get a little porn shot of this. Look at this. Look how cool this is. Look, watch. How does it do that? All right, guys, this is the BSD new free coaster revolution with the new planetary gearing inside of it. This is the hub where a lot of guys have been dreaming of, talking about it, where they're like, you know what? I like the whole free coaster mechanism. But I also like the cassette. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. You know, you roll it, and when you stop pedaling, it goes. I, so you guys get what I'm saying. So that's what this does. It has the little clicking noise that some of you guys have a fetish about. It's lighter weight. It looks a little bit better, but it's actually more than that. The cool thing about this guy right here is that the engagement works exactly like a cassette. Cassette. C <sighs> English 101 here. You said you said T. That's cut what set. you were saying cut the set. first time. It's not cut set. C cassette. Go back to the free coaster. <laughs> it's a free coaster that has the same engagement as a cassette. This is like on a date you're undressing. Man, that's a long axle. God damn. <laughs> 10 hours later. <laughs> so there you have it. If you look, it's not that loud, but it's something. Let's see how it works. You're gonna, this is a left hand drive, by the way, guys. You pedal forward and engage. And then it free coasts. Free coast. There it is, the free coaster. So, what's so special about it? Because when you pedal forward, it engages right away, and there's none of that slack like a free coaster. So that's the huge advantage to this. And also, I think the second thing is the weight. And the shape, it's got a sexy shape. What's up, kid? He wants to know what's good with Slim. Nothing about them. Slim C. I hurt your anus. suck, because you can't bar spin with them. He's like, Vegan <laughs> does it. Have you ever seen how Vegan does a bar spin? Thank you! Well, he over. catches the crossbar on someone else's bar. <laughs> <laughs> that right there, I can't really go on anymore, explain that, but that's the huge difference. But what I want to explain to you guys about this, Oh. Boom! Just like that. So this this is the hub torn down. Of course, let's go through the anatomy of this hub. Hub guard, of course. Axle nuts, washer, cone, driver, the magic clutch. Ooh, this is the key. Bearing, axle, hub body, and that's it. How does this all this work? It is this very guy right here. This clutch. If you guys are familiar with cars, it's almost like a, having a high performance clutch in your car. You actually gain horsepower if you have a, a good clutch. Same thing. Look at this. The clutch. You guys see how I'm turning it one way and it's rotating the other? That's that whole planetary system they're talking about. Inside, there are gears. It's almost like a, it's, it's almost like a differential in the car. It turns one way and it delivers power into another way. But when you hold the whole thing together, it would stick together and it'll go. So how does it hold together? So you see these little spline? Those splines, if you look carefully, if you look at, there's like little paws right here, little here. Can you guys see it? There's little cutouts right here. Look, see what the spoke is hitting it. Those are little grooves that's cut out to the hub where these little grooves, those grooves line up with the grooves inside there. And it keeps this thing still while this thing rotates. I don't think you guys could hear it, but it, the clicking is very faint. I could feel it. That's where the whole clutch system works. These three tri-blades right here that you see, you see how this little groove right here? If you look at the driver, you notice the paws are sticking out 
They're not flush like the typical driver. You put these things together, it goes sits right there. See that? What's lifting these paws? It's this part right here, these little ramps right here. It's what's lifting it up. Then how does it work? This thing, this is a very, actually a very well engineered piece. I've actually had this very similar idea years ago, but I just wasn't as smart as these guys were. I'm just a bike mechanic, I just changed tubes here, man. So once everything comes together, you can see it turn. It doesn't, the pause and spring doesn't lift up. See, it doesn't lift up. It doesn't lift up until the right amount of pressure is pushed together. And then it goes and it lifts up. See how it lifts up when the right amount of pressure is applied. But when there's no pressure, it doesn't apply. That's where the cone comes into play. This cone, this clutch, this driver has to be completely married together. The right pressure for everything to work in unison. See that? If this thing is just loose, look, I've loosened this up so it doesn't engage. It has to be pushed well together for it to engage. Ease off on the pressure on, on my hand and like you turn it, it doesn't engage. I push it together, it engage. That's because inside this crazy planetary. planetary Tony Stark invention here, there are springs inside this and all these little doodads that I'm not even attempting to take apart, it's all preloaded to work with just the right amount of pressure for everything to work. Can I explain it? I kind of can, but I don't think you guys got the patience to sit there and listen. So I'm going to give you a crash course in it. I'm going to reassemble this thing. All right. I'm going to put this whole thing together step by step to show you, you guys. Put the, the hub bearing in. The hub bearing is in the body, the clutch. It goes in this way. Starts up. This guy. How many do you want? Make sure it's snug. Believe it or not, guys, this guy right here is the make or break. Is this jam nut. Without this, this thing is useless. It doesn't do anything. And that's where I, the ingenuity, where I'm gonna get in more depth. I just hope I explain it right. Screw this thing in, look, there's two parts. See the, the side with knurling? And then this side has a little lip that goes inward. And this right here, you gotta notice, I'm gonna hand tighten this. It still doesn't catch because this thing, it has to be tight. And now look, now it works. That is the magic piece right there. That actually is also going to be a problem because for some of you guys that are always messing with your bike and aren't careful and aren't detailed about it, you guys just quickly just slap stuff on, slap stuff off, and you have this thing just a little loose, it's not gonna work. You got to have that tight. So again, look at this. It engage. It free coasts. Now watch. I'm gonna just loosen this thing a little. It doesn't work. Tight. That's the precision engineering this is. So, hub guard, slap on, hub guard, slap on, that easy. Now that we kind of explain how this thing works, I'm gonna give you a build run back on the typical traditional free coaster. This is a coat one. I'm going to pedal forward and it engage. In order for this to free coast, you have to unwind. You pedal back a little bit and then free coast. You pedal forward, it catch. And you want it to free coast, it won't. So you have to kind of do that little bit of back pedal and it free coast. The good thing about this planetary thing is when you pedal forward, you don't have to do that back pedal and it'll still free coast. How does that work? 
Well, let's take it apart again. Disassemble this again. Again, it's this. Inside this clutch, remember I was telling you, it's preloaded inside. So when you have everything, in a sense, tighten, and this thing goes, remember, this little piece right here is, is held on. I wish there was a way where we, could, we should chop this. What do you guys think? Would you guys, would you guys chime in? Would you guys bring this to 100,000 views if I was to cut this thing in half? That's gonna be painful. If you guys do it, if you guys agree to it, I'll cut this thing in half and I'll show it to you guys. But for now, I'm gonna show you with just this. I'm gonna hold my finger on this little ridge where it's supposed to be the, the hub. And it goes, and look, it catches. But as soon as you stop pedaling, watch. You notice, you notice how the hub kind of, it kind of moves backward a little bit? Can you guys kind of see it kind of rolls back a little bit? Can you see the can you see the whole clutch system and the driver system? See it kind of. See that? So you see that? Inside this clutch, there the the engineering in. That's it. That's it. We're done, guys. That we're done. <laughs> Inside this precision piece right here. It's spring loaded in there to do the back pedaling that allows us to free coast. So this right here, remember, if you pedal forward and once you stop pedaling, it'll still, it won't free coast. You have to do that little slightly back pedal and it free coasts. Alf, you ride on a free coast every once in a while. You know what I'm talking about. You guys have to do that little back crank and it'll free coast. That is what the magic in this is. It goes and inside this, there is some just magic going on inside that. I, I mean, I wish I could take it apart, but I'm just too scared that when you pedal, it actually backpedals just like how you saw the clutch and the driver work. So the whole hub is backpedaling for you to disengage it. That is what makes this hub the rave right now. This, this is the key, the magic. This is, this is the fruit in the Fig Newton. <laughs> why are you shaking your head? Why? No, no, he's shaking his head. That's not a dad joke, guys. That's not a dad joke. Some dads out there chime in. That's not a dad joke. Yes, yes, the chocolate center. So it's like that. It's in here. This, this is the thing. It was as if it just fell from the sky. It was gifted by great Zeus. And remember, it will not work. The magic will not work. If this is not tight and right. So what would you call him? He's the assist. So he's the bun? He's the cookie on the Fig Newton? Yes, he is the cookie in the Fig Newton. So, pedal. And you stop. And what you guys don't know is that that piece, that piece is actually, it unwinds, see? Look, no back pedal, you stop. Designed. See? Really no, there's no back pedaling. That is the beauty of this, guys. So, hope you guys enjoy this. And remember, get us, get us some views. Get us, get our numbers up. If the numbers up, I will do it for you guys. But you guys, help, help me, help you, help me, help you. I will cut it up and I will show it to you guys. But you guys gotta prove your loyalty and prove your dedication to me. I'll cut it up. And also, the other bad thing about this, sorry Grant, this is not, is not available in a female. It's only available in the male. So, we have another thing for you guys. We have a female conversion for this. Alf has one. And if you guys stay tuned and stay subscribed in, we are going to do a segment on the female version of this that nobody else has. How are we gonna do that? Stay tuned guys.